Well, good morning. It is Friday. Yes, we've come to an end of a week and we've been speaking about the seed box of life, our heart that needs to be prepared and we need to prepare our heart for the seed that is so in Christ Jesus to take root within our life, to produce a harvest at the end of the day. Today, I'll talk firm roots can stand strong in a storm of life. So once your roots are firm, no matter the storms of life, we will stand firm because we know our root is Christ Jesus. Not so that produces again a fruit, a harvest within our lives for others to receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior of their lives because we become a witness of what Jesus Christ is busy doing in our lives. Now, Isaiah 29, 13 says this, These people approach me with their mouths to honor me with lip service, yet their hearts are far from me. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you, prepare your heart. <laughs> That's what God wants you to do. He wants your heart to be prepared. Who prepares my heart? Holy Spirit. How does he do it? He opens my heart to receive an understanding of what Jesus Christ did for me at Calvary's cross. Again, it's grace, not what I have done, but what Jesus has already done for me. You see, the strength of our roots in the seed box of life will determine our spiritual attitude, lip service, or a Christ connection. <laughs> it is so easy to, to do lip service today. Yeah, we, we, we can talk the talk, but are we living the talk? <laughs> are we living? Are we walking in that what we talk? Of that what we proclaim? Are we living the life? Can others see Christ in us? This is a big question we need to ask ourselves. Can others see Christ in me through the way I handle the problems of life? <laughs> Come on. I know it's difficult when problems hit us. Man, it's very difficult. You see, so many Christians think reciting a prayer from a prayer book is good enough to build a solid relationship with God. Now, 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 you got to hear me. I'm not knocking prayer books. Uh, let me tell you, they are wonderful. It is beautiful to, to sometimes recite those prayers that, that others written because, again, God give, gave them such inspiration to write them. Now, there's nothing wrong in citing those, uh, reciting those prayers. But again, if that's all you have at the end of the day, then I need to say to you, you are in trouble. Because, again, our communication with God is not just just through reciting somebody's prayer, but again, God wants your heart. <laughs> you see, when He's got your heart, He's got all of you. When He's got your heart, He's able to, to build into your life an understanding of who you are and, and who you've become once you've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Now, now you're into a place of a fellowship. Yeah, I don't talk to my, my wife through reciting somebody else's poems. No, 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 no. You know, I, I talk to her through a fellowship, through an understanding of of what we are and who we are. We are married, we're a couple, we're in love, and, and, and we develop a relationship, a friendship at the end of the day. It's the same with God. We need to understand that. You see, now there again, I said this, there is nothing wrong with reciting a prayer from a prayer book, but if that is the only source of communication you have with God, how can you create a fellowship at the end of the day with God? You are then in a spiritual trouble of decline. So, so again, I'm saying, yes, use your prayer book, but again, build a relationship with God, allowing again the promises of God to, to sink into your heart, to take root into your life, and to build a solid relationship with Father God at the end of the day. You see, as believers, we cannot allow a prayer book to determine our relationship with God. It's got to come from the heart. <laughs> Not so. You, you, God's got to have all of your heart. He doesn't want just 50% or 90%. He wants 100% of your heart because again, He wants to build a solid relationship with you. You see, as believers, we cannot allow a prayer book to determine our relationship at the end of the day. So be careful of how you sow your seed in the seed box of life. Make sure that every seed takes root in 
Christ Jesus. Come on, because he is the root at the end of the day. When your seed box takes root or your seed takes root in your seed box, Christ Jesus then becomes number one in your life. He becomes the number one person in your life, your go-to person, not so. And he has given to you Holy Spirit who's going to help you through your day. So God wants your heart more than what he wants your lip service. Now, again, hear what I'm saying. He wants your heart more than your lip service. At the end of the day, my heart needs to belong to him. At the end of this, this week, I want you to surrender your all to him today. Why not give him your heart and see what he's able to do in you and through you. Until next week, God bless. Hold on to those seeds. Make sure they fall into fertile soil, your heart open to God.